Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about Kurno duopoly. In this case, we have two firms in the market and we know their cost functions, namely the total cost function of the firm number one and the total cost function of the firm number two. Furthermore, the market demand for the product is also known. Here, our task is to calculate the market price and the total quantity produced as a whole. Before start solving this problem and problems like this one, there are a couple of things that are useful to know. First of all, in a Corno duopoly setting, each firm maximizes their profit individually. So, marginal revenue must be equal marginal cost in case of each firms in the market. Secondly, optimal production of one actor also depends on the other one. So a function can be stated refers to that. It's called reaction function. Moreover, total quantity produced equals the sum of the production of individual actors. As the first step of solving this problem, we should calculate the total revenue function for both firms. We possibly know that total revenue can be calculated as market price multiplied by quantity produced. This is true for the first and the second firm as well. To make this step easier, let's rearrange the market demand function in order to have the price in the left side. Now we can determine the total revenue function. Just multiply the rearrange demand function by Q1 and Q2 respectively. After that, let's take the partial derivatives of total revenue respect to Q1 and Q2. The same have to be done for cost functions in order to discover marginal cost of the two actors. Now we are ready to use profit maximization rule. After that, a little bit re rearrangement is advised in order to have zero in the right side of the equations. Optionally, or if the task asks for that, rearrangement can be done in another way, to have Q1 and Q2 in the right side of our equations. These functions show production of firm number one as a dependent of production of the second one. So, these forms are the so-called reaction functions we have been talking about earlier in this section. We can also see that those equations determine an equation system. It has to be solved in order to get the production of the two forms. After that, it is really easy to tell the total production of the market. Just sum up the individual quantities. To calculate the market price, you only should substitute this total production into the previously rearranged demand function. With these steps, we are done. Thanks for watching.